Hello and welcome to our today's session. We are going to be looking at how to insert data into our given tables. In our last session, we were able to look at how do we create a table as well as how to display the tables. One thing that you need to note is that we normally have three ways in which we can insert data into a table. I am going to take you through each one of them and we practically insert data into one of the tables. The first way in which we insert the data is when we enlist all the columns. You all remember that we had this particular table that we created that had the ID number, the names, and the date of birth. We would want to insert this particular record. The command or the syntax rather is insert into and then you provide the name of the table. And then within the brackets, we normally enlist the, our column names. And then after that, you close your bracket. You indicate the values. And then within the brackets, you list the values. NB, anything that is bar card, anything that is date, must be put within the single quote. That means that the names as well as the date of birth will appear within the single quote. And then after that, we normally end our given command with a semicolon. So let's jump into MySQL and we add this first record. We are now in MySQL and the first thing that we are going to do is to confirm whether we have our current database set. The command to do that so we can already see that we have our vehicle database as the current database that is in use. We also spoke about the show tables command that helps us to see the current tables that are in use. So we would want to enter the first record in our owner table. And to do that, we need to say insert into owner and then put our column names, we begin with the ID number, then names followed by the date of birth, we close our bracket, we type values, press enter, we open our bracket. We said that anything that is textual or date, it has to be placed within the quotes. So we are going to put our Jim Smith, Jerry Smith within the quotes and then the date of birth equally in quotes. We close our bracket and we put our semicolon and we press enter. And you will see that one row has been affected, implying that one particular record has been added. We now move on to the next method, which is when you now don't provide the column names. When you are inserting records and you fail to provide the column names, it's important for us to note that the order is important. And number two, it implies that you are adding records into all the columns. So that means we will only state insert into and then we provide the table name. We will skip the list of the columns and go straight to values and we populate our values. However, if we are using the second way, the assumption is you are inserting all the data. So let's jump to MySQL and see how we can use this second option to add. We are now going to enter the second record for Bob. Insert into owner. And then you say values. Provide the ID number. Then the name. Remember we said that any variable character or a variable name has to be placed within the single quotes. And automatically the second record is added. That method is suitable when you have multiple records and you do not want to insert one record at a time. If there are instances where you do want to insert multiple records at the same time, this is the syntax you provide. Insert into, you provide your table name, you provide within the column names, but instead of putting a semicolon at the end of the first record, 
you put a comma and you separate the different entries that you'd want to enter up until the last record where you normally provide our semicolon. So in this given case, we are going to add three more records so that we test the bulk insert option. So let's jump to MySQL. So the command will be insert into owner, press enter. You can make use of our, our arrow keys to remember the commands. You press enter, you go to values, you press enter. We are going to enter the that record. It's going to be 1040. Close our semicolon. And you can see it's going to indicate for us that the three rows have been affected. That's how we insert records using the three ways. You can choose each of the ways that you feel convenient for you. Stick along. In our next video, we are going to be looking at how do we now select or view those particular records that we have just entered.